Once upon a time, there were three little pigs and a mama pig. Hello, I am Mama Pig. Hi, I am Bob. Hello, I am Joe. Hello, I am Bill. Bill was a very lazy pig. He did not like to work hard. I am so tired. <sighs> Joe did not like to work that much. He liked to play on the swing. Bob was a hard-working pig. I like to work. One day, Mama Pig called the three little pigs to talk. My sons, you are old enough to build your own houses and start your own families. The three little pigs thought about living near each other in the forest. Mama, can we live in the forest? You have never been to the forest. Let's talk about it. Mama Pig talked about the forest, and the pigs loved the idea of living there. Okay, you can go, but take care, kids. There are wolves in the forest. At night, the three little pigs started to pack their belongings. I will take my flute, my yellow pajamas, my toothbrush, toothpaste, and my red ball. My blue pajamas, my toothbrush, toothpaste, my fishing rod, and my flashlight. I will take my hammer and nails, my purple pajamas, my toothbrush, toothpaste, and my tent. In the morning. The three little pigs kissed their mama goodbye and started their new life. Remember, my dear kids, that big bad wolves live in the forest near here. They are dangerous. We will come to visit you soon. Bye bye. So off they went happily together, singing and dancing. La 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 la. When they met a farmer on his bike, Bill had an idea. Hello, Mr. Farmer. May I have some straw to build my house? A straw house? Okay. Take what you need. Thank you. When Joe and Bob met a woodcutter driving a truck, Joe had an idea. Hello, Mr. Woodcutter. May I have some sticks to build my house? A stick house? Okay, take what you need. Thank you. And when Bob met a bricklayer, he had an idea. Hello, Mr. Bricklayer. May I have some bricks to build my house? A brick house? Okay, take what you need. You will have a lot of work. I like to work. Thank you. Bill was the first to finish his house, so he decided to go for a walk. He took his ball and went to Bob's house. Hi, Bob. Do you want to play with me? No, I am sorry. I have to finish my house. Joe was the second to finish his house. His house. 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 At he went for a walk. He saw a large river and decided to swim. Wow! 
Wow! A river! I can swim! Let me take off my shorts, my t-shirt and my sneakers. Joe was swimming very happily when a smiling crocodile appeared. Joe got out of the water very quickly. When he felt safe, he teased the crocodile. No, no! Bob was the third to finish his house. It was a very strong house. He was proud of his work. The big bad wolf will never catch me. Nearby, a big bad wolf was looking for food. The big bad wolf was tired and starving. I want to eat something delicious. It could be a fruit, a fish, but what I like the most are pigs. <laughs> but I am too tired and I need to sleep. <sighs> When the big bad wolf woke up, he went for a walk and saw Bill's house. A straw house? Someone must live there. The big bad wolf walked around Bill's house sniffing. By the smell, he was sure that a pig lived in the house. Little pig, little pig, let me in. No, no, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. Help! Help! The big bad wolf ran after Bill and found Joe's house. <laughs> I will have tender pigs for dinner. For din <laughs> little pigs, little pigs, let me in. No, no, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. <sighs> Bill and Joe ran to Bob's house. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. No, no, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. <sighs> <sighs> Then the wolf huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, but he could not blow Bob's house down. How can it be? This house is very strong. <laughs> Let's, Let's sing the dance. dance. But the big bad wolf did not give up. I am coming right down your chimney. However, to his surprise, a large cauldron with hot water was set on the fire. And 
When the big bad wolf came down the chimney, he burned his tail. <laughs> Silly wolf! Oh, my tail! Oh, my tail! It hurts! Oh, oh it hurts! Oh. It was a lovely Sunday morning, and the three little pigs went to visit Mama Pig. They gave her some flowers and talked very proudly of the way they sent the big bad wolf away. 